only on Friday 17th, story time with Stick, live in effect, side to side. Hey, I'm going to tell you this right now, man. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a long ride here, man. Yes? Hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the like right now. Leave a comment. Share it with all your people. That it's gonna be fire. Yeah, it's gonna be fire. Yo, son, what's your favorite shit of hip hop? Hey, tell me when the first time you knew you loved hip hop. Oh shit. Okay, well, I know exactly when, but it happened twice. Now. So. My shit happened in two phases, years apart. Tell me how. Alright, so. Only on Christ 17 TV. You're gonna learn right now. Story time with Stick. I mean, back in the day. So I grew up, as a, as a child, I grew up in New San Juan and fucking Oak Park, the South Side. When I was a little ass nigga in East San Juan, and nigga, I matter of fact, I was living on McLaughlin. We was at the fucking Sunny Book Apartments. Go. Nigga, this shit, that's a whole story time right there in the apartments. But. Story time was thick. Bruh, I remember. On Christ 17 TV. Yeah, check this. So, when I'm living there, I'm in like first grade and second grade. My parents both work fucking swing. So, I would get out of school, both them niggas be gone. I was a little nigga looking after me and my sister, you feel yeah. me? So I don't even know why, but for some reason, one day, I was just like on some rebellious shit, like fuck that, we going outside. So we sneak downstairs. Nigga, I come outside. One nigga's These niggas is in front of the building on a whole fucking roll of linoleum, nigga, with the boom box. Playing Curtis Blow basketball, getting loose on the fucking floor. I'm like, that right there, mind you, I'm not even supposed to be out there. I'm already on my rebellion shit. Yeah. I'm a little nigga. I was like, bro, I was like six years old. My sister was like, fucking about to be caught. Definitely. Hey, nigga. So, I'm already on my rebellion shit. Tell them, son. And I fucking go out. The first time I ever went against my parents' work, I go out and discover hip hop for real. Tell them now. Like, not no motherfucking, you know what I mean? K, you know, back in the day, KSOL, KMDL, so y'all niggas from the day, you feel me? I was like, okay, I'm in. Tell them, bro. When I understood, if this was my culture, nigga, I was 12 years old. I was in sixth grade at Fisher Middle School in East San Ho. Nigga, right down the street from the airport by East Ridge Mall, nigga. We come out for lunch one day. These niggas decide to fucking surprise us. We come out for lunch. These niggas got a live DJ. Naturally, I was a hair's length away from the six foot speakers. Watching this one fucking DJ really be a fucking DJ. Y'all niggas remember that? A DJ. Are they new, bro? Hey, you know, right here? You know. Are they new, bro? One of the elements. One of the elements. What they do, shit. bro? Tell them what they do. Nigga, what does a DJ do, bro? Bro, a DJ don't press a button. They don't hit play. It is. They don't press a fucking button. A they DJ do what? Put his hands on everything in front of him. Do that. And, uh, and, Did that. And, and if he good, his shit compliment the MC and it elevates the whole shit. That's how it's supposed to rock. And then it gets young guys like me into the shit for the rest of their life. And done deal. Like, bro, Fuck out of here. Hey, all my niggas. Sign and seal, baby. Bro. Sign and seal. Hey. Right, 17 TV. If yeah. you old school like us, nigga, you ain't got a buckle under the pressure. Bruh, 
mingling your fucking music used to give you goosebumps, my nigga? When a nigga say something so cold and your body physically react to that shit? This Absolutely. shit, bruh, bruh, this shit now, this shit got niggas stars and dog. Yo. This how it be now, though. Bruh, they, they, they keep, 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 keep calling it yeah. hot, but y'all ain't no got none of the limit. elements in it. Ain't none of the elements in this Even shit. Even. I'm talking about hip hop. Album of the year. Check out this. Mob Deep. That was. Come, come salute. Salute. Rest in peace, P, nigga. Right. Man, RPP. That's a fact. Mob Deep was one of the realest groups ever. Wu Tang. Yeah, that was our fucking sound. That was our fucking theme music. Yep. Yeah, Straight sound. up. Nigga, if you ever heard Mob Deep at 3 4 in the morning trimming down your street? That was me and him. That's a fact, man. Fuck out of here. So. As usual, though, we be on this shit. Niggas look at us crazy. And then Eminem do goddamn eight mile and everybody love this niggas fucking like, yo. Let me ask you a fucking question. Tell me. Bruh, how many fucking times since we was fucking 17 and 18 years old, bruh? How many times have we played fucking music or be watching like Rap City or some shit? And niggas will be saying some shit that we be said, saying three years said, before. Yeah, and I said, that shit. Now it's on fucking Rap City at 4 o'clock, nigga. Check I'm out like, this. Yo, yo. I used to have well, lingo well, from my motherfucking hood, right? Crazy. I came out here in 95. And I spent some ill shit. Like, just, you know, like ill shit. Like, that's just how. Funny. Yo, that's how. That's how I came, that's how yeah, I'm coming. That shit was you know what I'm saying? That was great. Hop in the fence, hop shit. in the fence, coming from when I came from, it was different. Yeah? And when I came, they didn't know how to take it, they know how to approach me, should they, should they not. You know what I'm saying? And most times, it's, you should not. You know what I'm saying? When I was young, I wasn't fucking around. But I came from some shit, dude, but... You always fuck with niggas who come from the rap. Oh, that's a yeah. fact. That's a fact. But, nigga, we talking about this little motherfucker in 1995. Niggas was not up on... Bro, niggas wasn't up on etiquette. Like, bro, when I came down here, I was in culture shock. That's a fact. Nigga. So was I. From fucking Oak Park in the 90s. But... Right. 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 But at the same time, not because I used to come every summer. That's how I know. I had been out here a few times. That's how to visit my auntie. You me and bro, I'm a uh, bro from the feds. Oh my god! I've been on him since I Woo, five. Woo, nigga! Bro, I got story time. Hey, 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 from him. Hey, you know what? Let me say this real quick. Y'all niggas, y'all want some good story times? I'm gonna come with some shit. Fuck that nigga Phil, that nigga owe me $1,500. $1,500. $1,500 is a lot of money. Yeah. Nigga, and it was on discount. Look, I put up two roofs with this nigga. Don't even get me started. That nigga know he did me something. Got you. Nigga, hey. I got some story times. Like he, got, hey, he got free labor out your ass. That's some bullshit. Son. But you know what? But you know what? Fuck. Huh. Huh. Nigga, I ain't even flip on the nigga. I seen that. Like yo. And look, and look out. You know what that. it is, but I'm just saying, nigga. That's our brother. Yep. That is bro. He, he, he did a lot of shit to fuck up, but but it's still, nigga. He always held it down too. He still are, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we could be for each other, nigga, but nigga, somebody else, like you already yeah. know. What's that's a real shit though. All y'all niggas, you already know how I'm a nigga. Yeah? Bro, fuck that. Bro, if you got beef with one of my niggas, and I'm there, you got beef with all of them. You better not say shit, nigga. Because if you approach one of my niggas, bro, and I'm there, I feel like you look at the whole situation, 
They said, oh, okay, he with his brother. Huh. Fuck that nigga too, I'm still moving. And, and, that's, take that and that's what we ain't yeah, doing. Bro, I'll take that. Like, we ain't letting that roll like that. <laughs> we ain't gonna keep moving. Yeah. Bro, I'm Mr. Party Time. I want, nigga, I'm here for the fun. Story time will stay. But, yeah. nigga, you gonna act up, bro. Story time will stay. Alright. Hey. Hey, in the fuck, you gonna be killing me, bro? <laughs> for the bold niggas hey. who be trying to swear up? Hey, son. I'll be like, what you swearing up for? Bro. Because they can't. Nah, bruh, niggas square up on me like he's about to get in a boxing match. Bro. And go where, sir? You're about go to get where? attacked by a fucking grizzly bear. What What are you squaring up for, bro? I might grab you by your whole face and just pummel you into the fucking whatever it's supposed to be. Like, well, no, no, it's not. Like. This kid's wild enough, sir. Nah, bro. Hey. Listen. That's a, off the line. I've been here since, nah, fuck that, nigga. Right. Niggas, check this out. <laughs> nigga, I've been here since 1977. Seven, I've been here since yeah. I came a little late, you heard it? You hey. sure did, because you the 77. I've been 77. Wait, 77. Still go. They okay. say, where hey, you go I with it? I got here, When I'm gone, I held the door cremate me. It's been bro, gone bro. like this. Oh, bro. bro. Don't play me. These what? motherfuckers got me on this earth. Niggas got me on this earth. That's what it is. Feeling disconnected, like I'm an alien, my nigga. Talk to me. Like. Talk to me, son. Nigga, bro, we was terrorists. Huh? Niggas was all over the fucking country. In that area, you feel me? Like, I'm not, bro, I'm not trying to knock niggas, like. Bro, you ain't man, know, man, nigga. You ain't not me. Lose the furthest things from a fucking square. But these niggas, bro, it's like. And all this shit we did, my nigga. And niggas who know, no. Niggas used to live federal every day. Nigga, I ain't never did more than a little over a fucking month in county jail, nigga. I've been arrested like almost 20 times, but... Hey, what's the craziest shit? Yeah. Hey, hey. You know, got me feeling like an alien. I don't Check out this. Shit. Check, check out this stuff. Yeah. Check out this. Yeah. Hey, hey. Me. Me. You know, I, Tell me what was your feeling that time when you parked in the country and you got out and right next to the coyote. Tell me about that shit. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about that motherfucker. Yeah. Nah, okay, so. Yeah. Listen, I was telling my kids about that. Because I took my kids to that same spot. Tell me about it. To look for fucking UFO. No, tell me about it, yeah. But now, nah, here's the thing about that. So the question is how I felt. An honest answer, I didn't. It was whatever fucking time it was. Hell, like, I don't even remember where I was at. And I decided nigga need to be out there by the canals in the country in the dark. So, a nigga, for whatever reason, I ended up out there, nigga. And I was trying to remember who the fuck I was with. I might have been with my girl. I don't know I've been with my I'm girl. I'm a guy, yes. I'm a guy, son. Sure. You know, stop. Grab the bottle. Grab some blunts. I'm out there doing me. Nobody around, nigga. Hey, that's one good thing about this little motherfucker. If you just want to get away, like just on some chill, nothing crazy. Listen to him. Bro, you could just go in any direction for about 10 minutes. And it feel like your ass in the middle of nowhere, nigga. That used to be my shit. Bro, me and my girl used to go out there and just be chilling. Like it was the fucking yeah, shit with the coy- with But the coyotes, So we did that this night. With the coyotes. We out the there. But now, any of y'all niggas who ain't been here. I told him to tell the shit about the coyote, he's still sending bullshit. Twice 17 TV. He don't want to tell me about the coyote almost bit his dick off. This motherfucker here. Yeah, he's right next to him from the attack him, but he seen this motherfucker beard was like James Harden, so 
He was scared of death. Check this motherfucker out now. Tell motherfucker, I'll just say, bro. But the coyote, I almost did you dirty. Sorry, y'all. Uh, like I was saying before a nigga interrupted me and said I wasn't saying it. So, we out there. For all y'all niggas who ain't never been out here, y'all don't know, but niggas who been out here, y'all know when y'all out there by the hills, how <laughs> windy it be, when that wind be whipping off the hills, bro. So, I get out the car, my girl like, nigga, I'm chilling. That shit was fucking like, trying to blow niggas over type shit, you feel me? And, on a side note, nigga, half my gate is leaning against the other side of my fucking yard. Because why? Because why? So the motherfucker build a fence. Every time we get a windy night, I wake up, and my fucking fence be in the fucking alley, my nigga. Lying like a mother. Brand new fence. This motherfucker done came back three times to rebuild what he did the first time. Right now, half my fence ain't even... Nigga. What the and fuck is you talking about? No. What are you talking about a fence? Nigga, I'm talking about a side note on the wind, you motherfucker. Pay attention. Listen to what I'm saying. Joe. Trust me, it all comes back to the coyote, my nigga. Coyote 17, yeah. TV, don't know what the fuck you talking about. So what I'm trying to explain is, this wind is why the fuck a nigga ain't know the coyote was just chilling, yeah, looking at me like, that? nigga. Bro, the wind Check blowing my shit is on the shit. You better tell me some shit about it. All my coyote. neighbors got fucking 30-year-old fences. They shit be up every time. My brand new fence done been down four times. It's still there. So that's how windy it is. So I'm out in the fucking cut. My girl's like, nigga, I'm gonna be in the car. I'm like, all right, nigga. I grab my bottle, light the blunt, jump out. I go to the water. I gotta take a piss. Nigga, I'm in Tracy. Back then, it was so boring like that. You just had to go to the country to have a little fun. That's my bro, yeah. But the wind coming off the Altamont. That's my brother, man, right here. For y'all niggas went down, we live right next to the Altamont Patch. It's a historic shit, a little race shit. Way back then. They have like a mini Woodstock guy, shit is crazy. But the wind be coming off them hills so hard. I got the music slapping. Nigga, I had two 12s in the trunk. You already know I'm slapping. I'm in the country. I'm pissing, it was a good one. Like, one of them ones where you like, ah. So I'm doing that. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, myself told me, nigga, look over, what the fuck are you doing? And I looked directly over down. Nigga, it's a whole fucking coyote. This motherfucker done walked up on me. Tell him, the shit's so windy, I can't hear shit. But my fucking speakers in the background. This nigga sat next to me like my dog, nigga. And was just looking you at me. Scared him. He said he got a coyote that he almost took off. Nah, bust it. You better take nigga. that motherfucker home, son. Nah, nigga. I looked That's over That's why it's sound like take him home. He said nigga, he I sat by you. Nigga, if my BM wasn't in the car, I probably could have. You know me, nigga. Hey, I do this motherfucking hey, like coyotes. Nigga, I do dogs, wild animals, and Coy- babies, and all the coyotes. Same. I talk coyotes. to them. Coyotes. Nigga, you love coyotes. Wild animals and coyotes, motherfucker. Pets and babies and coyotes. I talk to them all. Coyote, this motherfucker Coy- right here. He loves coyotes. So if you want to drop any coyotes off, I'm gonna give you his Instagram. It's so and so for. Back nigga. Yeah. I swear to God, no one's ever said that out loud, ever. This what? nigga said, this nigga love coyotes. What the fuck? He man? love coyotes. No one ever said that. <laughs> he love that motherfucker, son. Bro, you stupid. This nigga crazy. He love coyotes. Nah, bro, I'll just, listen. If you alive, I'm going to talk to you in English, because that's all I know. I talk to babies. Like, how I'm talking to y'all niggas. 
That's how I talk to all my babies. That's like my little bro. That's how I talk to animals. Look, I look at this nigga, I said, pardon, pardon my French ladies, I got my dick in my hand, literally still pissing. I look at this nigga, that nigga looked at me, I said, nigga, what's up? Hit him with the head knock. With the coyote? He said, man, nigga, you ain't being grateful. Nah, man. nah, bro. I'm on that nigga block. I'm on his block, he come to see who I am. He was chilling, so I was chilling. I said, nigga, what's up? But that nigga hit me with the RCA dog. That nigga said, hit me with that little side shit, like, what the fuck? Nigga, I finished pissing, lit my blunt back up. That shit, boy, well, it was already lit, but the wind was burning this, and shit shit. You talking about some bullshit. No, you want to hear a country story, motherfucker? Yeah, country. Fuck that coyote, let me tell you. Look, check this out. All right, disclaimer, this shit finna sound crazy to a lot of people. I honestly don't fucking care. If Only on Christ 17 TV, motherfucker. If something happened, I'm finna let niggas know. I'm a nigga like, look, we all here together. Motherfuckers be fighting all the time, beefing all that shit, but really, we literally all want the same things in our lives. We just want to be happy. Hey, bro. Nigga, take care of our Love fucking you, guys. We all yeah. trying to do the same thing. That's how we do it. So, stop the violence, man. All this we pushing shit, peace. Yeah, y'all really we pushing peace. Bro. We pushing peace. They ain't no violence. We don't want you smoking nobody ops. Hey. We want you to help the next little dude get better and better. Every time we're not doing that, we're pushing the peace. Can Stay. I say something real quick, yeah. my nigga? Yeah, facts. Nigga, following up on what my brother said, nigga, no disrespect to nobody. Niggas think they out here beefing. Niggas think they out here holding it down. I don't know if holding it down or beefing is. I fucking promise y'all, niggas. It's a fact. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you, you're playing a part in something that was already fucking decided. Niggas is doing exactly what your real ops want you to do. And fail. And fail. It's millions of people all over this country going through the same shit I'm going through that I'll never meet. One thing we all have in common is the entities that are fucking holding us back. It's bro. Like, we go talk. Let's talk that shit right now. Motherfuckers, y'all could send a fucking machine to another planet to just ride around, take samples, do all kind of shit. Y'all motherfuckers just shot back some shit from an asteroid, got it Thanks, dropped man. in the capsule in fucking Utah. Speak that shit. But these same motherfuckers Speak can't that. stop the flow of fucking narcotics into our fucking communities. Like niggas own planes. Like niggas own fields. Turn around. After you finish counting your money from the shit you just flooded in, then you turn around and count your money that you made from locking them same niggas up. Then you get fucking genius and decide to fucking flip hip hop on his neck. Now you want to fucking open bro. record companies. It takes too long. It's too, yo, we're not reaching enough. Black man nature righteous. So y'all had to go deep. Y'all supposed to hit pop on the neck. Little bit. Now, all these little niggas running around, knocking each other off. 
they locked up a certain amount of fathers in the last generation. And they tripled the fucking production and put guns in everybody's hands. We got probes out of our fucking, <laughs> not even in our solar system no more, tracking data from these shits. But y'all couldn't win the war on drugs. Remember when we used to be in school? And you'd be doing history? And you'd be reading about how motherfuckers get tired of the bullshit? And run up in the castle and drag the king out onto the streets and execute the motherfuckers? Like real revolution shit? Shot out of mortal technique, you feel me? Like, look. I'm gonna start this super stellar channel. I wanna link up with like-minded niggas. I know a lot of people ain't finna be on the shit I'm talking about. That's gravy, that's good. Bro, I'm just thinking about 50 years from now. What are my sons gonna go through when they my age? All this shit that's going on right now, bro. I'll be feeling like but I'll be feeling like my grandchildren are gonna learn all this history and be like, yo, how the fuck did y'all let that happen? Real shit. And we'll be long gone, we don't even, we ain't gonna be here to give them an answer. But the niggas are gonna look back and be like, yo, how did that happen? That's crazy. Like, I'm back. Hey, bro, I had to get real with these 